Do you want to know about the Battle of Gettysburg? Budding claymation. I don't know either, so let's go. And I'm not running into you this time. <laughs> okay. Guys, watch this. The Civil War is a bloody tie. Most of the battles thus far in the Civil War have taken place in the South, in slave territory. But, Confederate General Robert E. Lee thinks it is now a good time to move up north to free territory. Lee's plan? Take out all military forts in Virginia and Maryland, while the Union Army is still protecting Washington, D.C. He thinks if he can defeat the Union in a battle by a landslide, more people will be inclined to join the Confederacy. Lee gets word of a skirmish happening between two cavalry units in the small Virginia town of Gettysburg. He is told there's a large Union force there. Lee sees this as his chance. Lee orders his entire army to the Gettysburg of around 60,000 Confederate troops from the nearby towns of Cashtown and Carlist. It was a huge mistake. I have 3,000 unit troops positioned myself at McPherson Ridge for protection against the Confederate forces until reinforcements arrive. They're miles away at Washington, D.C. They have no choice but to retreat to Cemetery Ridge, a series of hills to the southeast of Gettysburg that forms a sufficient shape, which is a great defensive advantage. And then, just when the moment was most dire, the Union reinforcements arrived and won the battle for them. The battle was won, but it was costly. Around 23,000 people died on the Union side, and around 28,000 people died on the Confederate side. Very big turning point in the war. And America will remember those fateful days from July 3rd, 1863. Hey guys, I know you missed me. And that was a pretty great movie, except I'm kind of scarred for life! <laughs> oh my god, uh, Um.